Some time ago, I did a modification to one of my old Atari joysticks that wasn't working too well to put little micro switches inside. I had to do a lot of modifications to the plastic ring inside of here to get it to work right and everything. However, I saw a post over on the Atari Age Facebook page where a person got some of these little low profile micro switches. These measure 4 by 4 by 0.8 millimeters. They're nice and clicky. Without having to do any modifications to the plastic ring inside. So I decided I'll make a video doing a modification using these types of switches see how well it works. So let's get to it. So now we've got the controller opened up. We're down to the circuit board. First thing we have to do is we're going to take off this plastic membrane here that holds all these little old dome style switches. So we'll get this all peeled off. There we go. Got it all peeled off. We'll take a little bit of cleaning fluid, cleaning solution, and clean off all this uh, nasty adhesive. And then we'll begin soldering on the new little dome switches. Awesome. In order to get these switches to work, we need to trim off one of these legs right here. Because <clears throat> this is connected to this. That's connected to that. So we need to break that circuit so we don't have a completed circuit when we solder onto the circuit board. So these are the switchable contacts right there. Okay, there's the first switch soldered in place. Got it soldered there, there, and also back there to help hold it on. So let's give it a quick test here. Cool. Awesome. So let's go through and mount the rest of the switches. And we got all the switches mounted. Awesome. So now we'll just do a little quick test. We'll put it back together just to see how well this works. Cool. You can hear the clickety clickities. Awesome. So let's finish up the mod by getting the fire button mounted and we'll give the joystick a try. Now one thing I did is I went ahead and left the spring out of the fire button. You can hear it click. But if you want to put the spring in there, just to make sure you insulate the circuit board because otherwise it'll short out against this metal spring right here. If you want the thing to actually pop up. But I think this will be just fine for what I want it for. Awesome. Okay, let's put this thing back together. All right, there it is all back together again. Clickety. Awesome. So let's give it a try on the old 2600, see how well it works. All right. We're going to give it a try with Berserk. Here we go. Oh, awesome. Oh, these work out really well. Kind of nice to be able to uh, get this joystick working again. And what I really like about this modification is it doesn't require a whole lot of mods to the joystick itself. Basically, you just have to keep in mind to keep the, the little tiny switches centered over that little center contact where the old switch used to be. And then make sure you solder the right legs onto the traces. I made a couple mistakes I had to correct. No big deal. But otherwise, I much prefer these low profile switches to the ones that I used in my last modification. This was a lot easier to do. Probably something else I would probably do if I do another one of these is I would probably put a little dab of super glue underneath the switch itself. Uh, and then put it down and then let it cure and then solder it on. That way I can get it perfectly centered and it'll be affixed to the board a little bit better instead of just the solder connections holding it. But anyway, that's the newest little clicky switch mod for the classic Atari joystick. Thanks for watching. 
All right, quit shooting at me. You have got to go. Ha <laughs> ha! Thanks for watching.